Soon after Edison invented the incandescent light bulb, he was experimenting with it and added a metal plate to the inside. And what he found was, if you light up the filament and then apply external power to the plate and the filament like this, not much happened. However, when he reversed that, like this, he found that electrons would flow from the filament to the plate. And this is when they discovered that electrons actually flow from negative to positive. Edison really didn't do much with this. He did call it the Edison effect. A guy by the name of John Fleming is the guy that really put this to work, the uh, vacuum tube diode. Then comes along Lee de Forest. He's the one that adds the grid, a bent piece of wire zigzagging back and forth between the filament and the plate. Now if we add our power supply negative to the filament and B plus to the plate. And if we make that grid positive, it's almost like the grid is not there, like in the original diode. However, if we make it negative enough, almost no electrons flow from the filament to the plate. And of course, you can vary that in between also. So it actually almost acts like a variable resistor. But the grid to do this, of course, needs voltage, but very, very little current. So it's a very high impedance device. Here is a OT1A triode vacuum tube. This one was made oh, sometime in the early to mid 20s. And here's a view of the bottom of its base. And you can see the two large pins at the bottom. Those are for the 5 volt filament. And we have two smaller pins at the top. Now here's another view so you can see what the diagram of that vacuum tube looks like. And this is the setup that I'm going to demonstrate how this vacuum tube works. I'm going to have 90 volts on the plate through a 2k ohm resistor and across that resistor I'm going to have a voltmeter so you can see what's happening there and then I'm also going to have another voltmeter the one all the way to the right that is across the negative and positive of that vacuum tube Okay, here's the setup. Got our power supply. We've got this voltmeter here, which is across this 2000 ohm resistor. And we have this voltmeter, which is across this hot 1A vacuum tube. Now we got 90 volts on the plate. And now I'm going to turn on the power supply. And you can see that we have voltage here. This is on the 50 volt scale. So it's reading oh, about 8 volts. 
this one's reading about 82 volts uh, across the tube. And this wire is on the grid, pin 3. And I'm going to touch it to a minus 4.5 volts. Let me increase the scale here. four and a half volts and when I make it more negative it turns off the tube even more and when I make it even more negative the tube is almost shut off here and that is minus four and a half volts minus ten and minus 20. Okay, let's put this back up to 50 volts here. Scale. This is positive 22 and a half volts. And notice what happened here. The voltage across the 2000 ohm resistor increased at the 50 ohm scale, we're now reading oh, about 28 volts, something like that. And on the other meter, this one over here, that is across the vacuum tube, is reading about 63 volts. Now let's increase this to 45 volts. and now the tube is conducting a little bit more the voltage across the resistor here which is this one right here that is now about 34 volts oops excuse me about 32 volts and now the tube is conducting more so the resistance between the um, filament and plate is less. So now this is reading about 60 volts. So when we make the grid positive, the tube conducts more, and when we make it very negative, the tube is just about shut off. Now this is a very high impedance device. Move that back here. And, as you can see, I can't be producing too much current on this grid wire here. So it's mainly voltage. That's what it means for very high impedance. So as you can see, a very small amount of change on that grid produces a much larger change in the current that is traveling between the filament and the plate. So this grid wire right here that goes right up here to the control grid of this tube is controlling that 90 volts with a very small amount of voltage.